So some of you may or may not know that five days ago, Germany has legalized weed, not only for medicinal use, but for recreational use and personal growing use. Hello, YouTube world. My name's Katie and I'm from the UK, so I don't actually get to enjoy what we're about to talk about today. Oh yeah, and uh, hello, welcome if you're new. Hello, and if you're not new, of course, welcome back, love. So a quick catch up for those who may not be aware of the recent German law. Germany becomes the third European Union country to legalize cannabis for personal use after Malta and Luxembourg. Now, arguably Malta is a lot more lenient. I haven't been there. Um, I've just heard stories and yeah, it's a lot more lenient in Malta. But the German government have passed this law on the 1st of April and what this means for German residents that are consumers of weed is that they are allowed to possess, so having their person, up to 25 grams. This obviously is for adults above the age of 18, I don't think I have to say that but I thought I'd just mention just in case. But it does make me wonder why they said 25 grams. Like, why not just the ounce? Like, is there a reason as to why the three grams would make a difference? Like, I don't know, that just... But anyway, as a German resident who is a user of the plant, you would also be allowed to grow up to three of them personally for you. So German residents now can go ahead and consume in public but there are rules. The use is prohibited within 100 meters, which is around 109 yards, of the entrance to a playground or a school, which would be obvious, right? And that legislation took place on the 1st of April, 2024. So going deeper into this, what we will find is that in July, there will be these cannabis clubs that will be opened up to the residents of Germany aged 18 and over. Residents will be allowed to join these clubs for a membership fee. There can be a maximum of 500 members at this club. And once you are a member of one club, you cannot be a member of multiple clubs. However, you are allowed to buy up to 25 grams a day or have a maximum of 50 grams per month in your person. So, I will get on to more of the information here and I will share the article that we're talking about, but I just want to interject quickly because I need, to, I need to know your thoughts on this. I've been brewing this in my mind since sort of delving into this and it's just, it, it, I can't understand where they got these figures from and I'll tell you why. You might have already thought it. Okay, so you can buy a maximum of 25 grams, you can have 25 grams on you, right, just out in the person, right, no worries, in your handbag, 25 grams, sure. The maximum you're allowed in your possession at home is 50 grams, okay? Need you guys to remember these. 25 personal out and about, 50 grams personal at your house. Now, you're allowed to grow three plants. So, by my calculation, okay, by my calculation, if you don't go and buy anything from these cannabis clubs, right, and you're only allowed 50 grams and you've got three plants, 50 divided by three is 16.666666 recurring. So you have to make sure that every single one of your three plants only yields 16.6666 recurring grams. Because what happens here if your yield, if you're a good gardener and you've already got knowledge of this because you're a whatever, right? What happens if you just unknowingly to you create a beautiful crop that yields you so much more than this 16.66 grams. I don't understand it. I don't I don't understand how they come and said, yeah, 50 grams is, is, is enough, but how are they going to determine what it, each plant grows? 
don't know. So let me know if you're German specifically, like if you know the details of this, please let me know. I've been like trying to figure it out as to how that would work. But again, the only way I can figure it out is if you do 50 grams divided by three and each part's got to be this. So unless you know more, please let me know in the comments. Um, and anybody else, if you'd like to theorize on this as well, please let me know in the comments. However, we'll get back onto the context of the video now. So if you're actually under the age of 21, then the figure of 50 grams per month is limited to 30 grams per month. So how these club costs go over to the, uh, I'm just gonna say patient because it's just easier to say this, basically varies on how much the patient intakes. So the membership cost is to be staggered by how much the patient uses. Which, again, I don't quite understand how that's gonna work, Like, but I guess they've got a system in place for this. So this law has been in the works, I just must interject here, this law has been in the works for months, right? There has been lots and lots of debate about this on both the pro side and the against side. Also, we've got the um, opposing political party now saying that if they get into power next year, they will upturn this. Um, which I personally, in my own opinion, think that that's probably not a good thing to say because, in my humble opinion, those people who would never vote before, who didn't give a shit about it, will damn well make sure that they vote this time. And they're gonna vote, if they're a user, for this law, all right? When you try and take something away from somebody, if they haven't voted, it gives them something to vote about, right? I'm just saying, you're probably gonna stir the pot a little bit with those sort of people, right? Just saying. I do just wanna play a clip from DW News. I watched this a while back, um, actually last month when it was put out. So this is before they legalized it, but there was a small part of an interview here which I would like to touch upon uh, after showing it to you. So let's run it now. It takes effect in a month's time. How will Germany compare to other European countries in making cannabis more widely available? Well, Germany joins other European countries that have decriminalized or authorized the, the use in different ways. And many people actually see the Netherlands as being sort of the European Union country with the most tolerant laws in this respect. But several analyses have actually shown that it's another country okay. in the European Union, the small country of Malta that has specifically the most tolerant laws in this respect. So basically what you're seeing also across Europe is a variety of laws and regulations which also respond to the debates that are happening in those respective societies. Because what we're seeing here in Germany, what we've seen here in Germany in the last few months is something that we're also seeing in other European societies as well. Mm. Other European societies, but not us. Now, the last time I checked all of this started with Malta and Luxembourg and everything like that when we were in the European Union, right? Arguably, I don't know whether we're out of it now, I don't touch politics anymore, but I don't know whether there's even been a, a, a divide at the moment. So I have no idea whether this idea has been thrown around in the European sort of department whilst we were there and we again as the UK were just like, no, we're not gonna do it. Um, and now we really have no chance if we've separated from them because it seems like the EU are following suit of what works. But the UK just don't want to do that. And I'm furious with my country. I am let down by my country. I am not patriotic in the slightest to be a Brit. And it shouldn't be that way. It's not only for this situation, obviously. There's a lot of things that I can tell you about the UK that I absolutely fucking hate and why I want to get out of this country for six months of a year when I'm old. Which probably will happen because I'm working my fucking ass off to make sure I don't stay in this miserable country for too long. And this is what happens. Our own country pushes out its own residents because they see a life better elsewhere however before you start jumping the gun and saying i'm gonna go to germany i'm gonna go and have a holiday and i'm gonna go in there and uh, you know sign up to a cannabis club and have a great old time 
this law is specifically for German residents. So if you don't live there, you are not going to be subject to this same law. Don't ask me how they're going to regulate it, if people can smoke in public. I mean, are they going to find out that you're not German just by looking at you? I don't really know, you know? I don't know if you just don't talk and smoke. I don't know. I have not been to Germany since this whole thing came out, obviously. But it would be interesting. It really would be interesting to see how this progresses. And of course, most definitely with these cannabis clubs that open up in July. I think this is great for Germany. I really, really do. And I have a German friend who can now start to garden in peace, right? He can now start to learn the ropes and start to learn what to do and start to grow his own legally. If you would like to have me ask my German friend some questions and get some feedback for a, a second sort of follow up for this video, please let me know down below um, because I, I don't know whether you want that. I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to waste his time. I don't want to waste my time or your time if that's something that you don't want. Um, but if you would like me to, you know, I'm not going to interview him, but I will ask the questions and I will sort of feed back the information that I got. He's a German resident, has been since birth um and is a smoker so if you would please just let me know um by a simple comment or like the video you know if this video gets a ton of likes because you like it and you want more uh then i will know that won't i like you know it's just it's just the way that it works if you like the video then i know that you like it and i'll bring out more content like this um so if you've enjoyed it <laughs> i might as well say like the video in it like i'm sorry i've said like so many times Above all else, if you've got any value out of this video, I would very, very much appreciate your subscription. It's completely free of charge and I'm working very, very hard to try and get to 5K subscribers. That's all I have for now. If you want another follow-up, like I said, let me know in the comments. What are you saying about this? Like, mainly I just want to get like your views on this. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want this video to be too long, so I'm hoping it's like under 15 minutes, but you take care of yourselves. Make sure you take care of each other. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.